Oh, hello again. Um, welcome to EG Timing TV. Uh, on this uh, video, we're going to be showing you a little bit about the C720 timer. Um, basically comes in its own um, box that you can transport in with a small handle. We just open this straight up. Let's just talk about the inputs and outputs. We have got the remote, which is for the D EG D60 external extension remote control. Uh, which is available to view on another video, or will be. Uh, uh, the display output, which is for the EG public timing displays, be it the 10-inch uh, the flap display or the LED um, versions of 5 and 4-inch. A bell output that goes into uh, the PA system, so the competitors can be alerted to starting of classes and any misdemeanours and such that need to be conveyed from the commentary and judges' pavilion and the charge port as well, which is uh, the, to in charge the internal batteries in this particular unit as well, via the power supply unit supplied with it. Okay, what next? We're uh, going to power this one up by pressing the power on button, uh, which is the zero, uh, and we'll just raise the antenna there for a start. So we're kind of good to go at this point. Um, what we'll do is you can see on the screen at the moment is got standard settings press zero or previous settings press memory at the moment let's just start it from the default position so we'll just press zero anyway and that will just open it up on its very very basic um, setup setup okay uh, just a quick navigation of um, what we've got going on here um, we've also got the, um, the contrast for the screen which you can alter. We've got the volume, which is the volume that the timer will make and the timer sounds. We've then got warning indicators. Now these are for the EGY free gates. Um, there's battery warning indicators. There's start, this is for the start. So S battery, S fault, which is a fault light on the start gate. We've got F battery, so finish battery. Um, and we've got F fault. The reason why the F, the faults on both start and finish are on is because we haven't yet got the EG Y3 gates powered up and of course the battery lights are on because there's no information coming from there but when you do get a low low battery on either the start gate or the finish gate that will start flashing alerting the judge in the judge's box um, to the problem and issue that needs to be addressed. We've then got obviously the memory button which can be seen um, a bit later on. Uh, we've got the start button We've got the arm button, which comes into play for the EGY free gates. Manual stop as well, uh, and zero button also there. Then we've got these buttons here also, which is we've got the off power off button, which will I'll show you a bit later on how that runs. We've then got menu, which we'll show you in a little while as well. We've got function, and we've got 45 second bell, which I'll show you through the uh, use as well and the bell itself, the bell sounder. As I said, the, this, this model because a bell outputs that goes into the PA system. So let's plug some cables in now. We'll start with the, not that you can see it, but we, we're gonna plug it in anyway. The D60 EG uh, extension timer, the bell going into the PA system, and also the charger. And you can see obviously that's powered up and we've got the LED Good to go. Right, quick run through on its um, functionality then. Uh, we're just going to go st straight for manual start stop, which if you've seen the 430 timer, very much the same, very much the same layout and obviously functionality as well. So very straightforward, start and off she goes. And then finish or stop rather, stop. And then we can zero that. Just show, that, show you that again. Manual start and manual stop and zero. Okay, now what we're going to do is um, just go through that but with the 45 second um, facility which basically is a 45 second which will, you'll hear the sound of a bell and the timer will count down to 45 seconds. This is more used when you're using the wire free gates and such to try and speed competitors up so they basically don't dawdle and whatnot. So let's press the 45 second bell. As you could hear, the bell went off there in the background. 
and we tie, start timing down, the timer starts counting down rather, um, down from 45 seconds. As soon as a horse then breaks the beam, or in this particular case, because we're manual start stopping, we press the start and the timer starts running. Okay, then we press stop and then of course the clock stops as well. So what we then do is, I won't zero that, I'm just going to press 45 seconds and the 45 second bell button once more. The 45 second starts. Manual start. Manual stop. And there we go. Okay, so that's the manual start stop. So what we're going to do now, um, just a quick overview on the menu facility. So we'll press the menu. Then it comes up with the two phases off. We're not going to go into the two phase setting up the class. This is just purely to show you the functionality of the timer and what it can do. Press function, turns the two phase option on. Press it once more and it gives us the gate memory of five seconds, which is something we'll talk about later. And then we've got two phase on and five second for the gate memory. Press again and that's everything off. What we're going to do is we're going to just go and put this on um, two phase off and gate memory for five seconds because we're going to run through that a little bit later on. The next one we've got is you can see down here which you have to press the 45 second bell button for this one to select this one which is the next menu option down is the gate channels. Okay the next one we're going to do now is gate channel one and we're going to change the gates and the gate options that we do have so the default setting is gate channel one so we're now going to select different type channels and frequencies. So we go through this through by pressing the 45 second bell. We've got two green, two black, two grey, one CX, two CX green, two CX black, two CX grey, one orange, two orange, one violet, channel two violet, one CX orange, two CX orange, one CX violet, two CX violet. And then we go back to gate channel one. All of those channels and frequencies and colors, uh, which is what they are basically, the colors are just there to simplify things, but in actual fact, what they all refer to is different frequencies. Um, the full range of EGY free gates, every single one that's manufactured, this timer can actually address. So that shows you the full range of exactly how many um, different frequencies there are available. So anyway, what we're going to do to leave that one, we're going to leave this channel one, we're going we're to change channel one to channel two green, because when we do our tests in a while, we're going to uh, use that. Uh, use channel 2 green for our tests. Next one we've got is the bell sounder. Now the, this particular model comes with various different bell sounds so I'm just going to run through them with you. So I'm, at the moment it's still set on slow so I'm going to press, press the button and then you can hear the slow. Now if I press this bell button here this is the fast sound. Press the bell again to select whistle. Press the bell button again to have bullhorn. And press the bell button one more time to slow. So that's what we've just um, started off with. So that's the full selection of different sounds that uh, you can have um, from this particular system to output on your PA system. So we're just about to leave the uh, menu set up now. So at the moment, just before we leave, we'll just have a quick recap of what we, what, how we've left it. We've left it two phase off, gate memory five seconds, which we'll talk about a bit later on. We've changed the gate channels to two, um, and we've got the bell sound at um, slow on this particular moment. So we can press zero for timing. So we press zero, come out of the menu option. As you can see, we've got channel two green. So that's what we've got at the moment. Now then, I'll just press the bell real quick. There you go, that's sounding perfect for that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run into um, wire-free gates territory. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go through um, the setup with the EG wire-free gates. So as we went through the memory a moment ago, 
we've, you can see we've still got channel two green uh, on there, which is great. Um, so we're gonna switch on the start gate and select that onto channel two green. Right, as you can see, we've got no fault light now. That's good news for us, of course, and uh, the, the batteries are fine in that, so there's no flash or indica indicator there, uh, warning us of low battery. And it's also, you can see that the beam is completed. So when the beam is, is good, it basically, the LED goes off. Finish, it hasn't got one, which is fine, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the combined start finish, meaning that the start gate will function both start and finish. So what we'll do is just to give you a quick test, I'm gonna run my hand through the beam on the start and you'll see the LED go off. That was the hand, the, the, the hand broke the beam and then that's what happened and you heard that the sound on the timer as well go off. So that's, that's all good. So what we're now gonna do is we're going to arm the beam. So I'm pressing the, the arm button. As you can see, the arm LEDs come on. Now, break the beam. The timer starts. So we'd have to use our imaginations. The horses are going around the course at the moment and they're approaching the finish. I'm gonna arm that again. It's R now arm the finish. Break the beam. There you go, and that's your time, 15.31. Now I'll go through that one more time but what we'll do this time is I'm gonna start it on the 45 second bell. So, we press the 45 second. 45 seconds goes. I'm going to arm the start, break the beam on the start. The timer starts going. The competitor is making its way around the course, his or her. Arm, finish. Beam breaks, and there we go. There we've got our time then. So, as I probably didn't describe, explain before, you can press the zero and zero that straight away, or you can just press the 45 second button, which doesn't zero it, but it does start the 45 second countdown, and obviously lets the bell sound off as well. So that's the start, combined start finish gate. What we're now gonna do is switch on the other finish gate, and that will be on finish channel two, green. Just give it a second to start thinking about what it wants to do. There we go, all systems are go. So we'll go through the motions again, but what we'll do on this occasion, I'm gonna zero it for us, okay? And now I'm going to arm, break the start beam, start gate, competitor, go, competitor goes around the course, Press the arm, and the finish, which is a separate gate now, remember? And there we go. That's that there, sorted. That's the beam being broken a second time for the finish. But that's all looking good to me. What I'm gonna do now though, just for one, one more, just it, it doesn't matter, but I mean, you use, we're just gonna use the 45 second bell anyway, because it's only gonna sound the bell and start the 45 seconds. Of course, just to explain, if it goes past the 45 seconds, the timer will start automatically because the competitor should, in that time, have crossed and started its way on the course. So it will start, that's hence the countdown timer. But in any case, let's press the 45 seconds. I'm going to arm, start, start gets broken. Competitor making their way around the course. Arm, the finish, finish gets broken. And there you go, there's the time on that. Okay, so that's pretty much everything except for the one last thing I was going to mention which is gonna be the memory button. Now, the memory button is if the beam, if, if someone goes through the EG wire free gates and they basically, the, the judge forgets to, to, to arm, um, the timer has a memory. As you can just see the LED, the, it was broken then you can hear the sound going off, warning that something's been broken, that the beam's been broken. So as we did in the setup through the menu, that we set, set that for five seconds. So what we'll do is we're gonna break the, break the beam accidentally, but I won't prime it, I will not arm it at this stage. But 
we'll count together and press the button. So we'll break the beam. One, two, three, four. I just press the memory button, and if you notice the timer then started, and it started four seconds in. I'll show you that again, just to be sure. So let's stop that, start again. But because there's only a five second buffer, I'm calling it on about four seconds, just so you can see it in action. So the beam gets broken, and the judge misses out. Press memory. I started it on two seconds, but you get the idea. Equally, the same happens on the finish as well. So when someone, go, if, if the competitor goes through the finish and breaks the beam, I miss it. I press the beam, the memory, and 15 seconds comes up. You may have noticed that it was on about 17 or 18 seconds. So what I can just real do real quickly, because I know there's a bit going on there. Let me just show you that one more time. Okay, well, but I'm not going to talk about it. We're just going to go through the memory. So the beam gets broken. Memory, three seconds. Same again at the finish. The finish gets broken. I miss it. Press the memory, eight seconds. But again, you saw that it was on about 11 seconds when I decided to break the beam on that. So it's kind of a safety facility if someone maybe um, just missed um, the horse on the, and going through the one of the two gates, as you can see. Um, that is everything we need to discuss, I think, on this particular timer. So I hope that was useful. The only thing I will just show you real quick, we'll just zero that and we'll just power it down for the sake of it. Push and hold. And it's got two warnings here. Uh, your settings may be lost if you switch off. Press off. Da, 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 da. Or zero to resume. We press it off once more time. And it powers down. And that is the EG720 timer.